Okay, awesome. Let me switch this over to the right screen. All right, so you guys have done ratios before. This, there's nothing um, in, this, in this lesson today that I think is gonna be too new for you, so mostly review. Um, so first off, so we're not, I know it says use whiteboards. We're not using whiteboards today. We're just gonna, we can just kind of do this together. So please open your um, textbooks to page 90 and take a look at the picture that you have there. It looks like this. Lindsay, what's your question? Okay, I haven't asked a question yet. Thank you. All right, so we're we're looking at um, we are looking at the pink sheet right now. So that's this one right here, and we're looking for a fraction for the pink sheet. We want to write the number of hearts over the total stickers. Okay, so when we look at that pink sheet, how many heart stickers do we have, Ainsley? And how many total stickers do we have? We have 12, okay. So we could say, do you guys remember the language that we've used for the fraction bar? We could say three, and then remember fraction bar means out of, three out of 12 stickers are hearts. Can we simplify that, you guys? What do we, how do we simplify that, Kala? Yeah, that is actually one fourth, isn't it? So one fourth or one out of four stickers are hearts. Okay, so, just notice that if the whole number or the total number of stickers were to be represented by four units, the number of hearts and the number of stars could then be represented by one unit. Let me show you what I mean really quick, okay? All right, in the first fraction, do you have a question, Annie, that I need to stop my sentence for? Right now we're looking at the pink sheet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stickers. Twelve total stickers. Right? We have to count the, the hearts as well. Because we wanted to know what the um what the fraction of hearts out of the total was. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, cool. Um, so we had three out of twelve. So the in this first fraction, three out of twelve, we counted each sticker individually, right? In the next unit, we counted, we basically, what we did was we counted three stickers at a time. So let me see if I can, <laughs> there we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. That's a little bit messy, but can you see how we have four units of stickers up there, guys? Okay, cool, good. I'm glad you can see that. Um, we'll talk more about that. All right. So if we look at the ratio, uh, let's keep looking at the pink sheet for a second, and I'm going to go ahead and erase this so we don't get confused. Okay, on your slides, on that next slide down, um, you're going to need to, let's see, I think you're going to need to go to the next page. No, my, my I'm sorry, no, my notes are a little bit different than yours, but it says, what is the ratio of the number of hearts to the number of stars on the pink sheet? Okay, so now we want to find the ratio of the number of hearts to the number of stars on the pink sheet. All right, well, first of all, how many hearts do I have there? I have three hearts. Okay, now it says ratio. And you guys remember how to write a ratio? Yep, three and then a colon. All right, how many stars do I have, Mateo? Yep, just the number of stars. Looking at the pink sheet. I have nine, good. So my ratio of hearts to stars is three to nine. Can I simplify that ratio? What should I write, Charlie? One, well, I'm actually gonna write it as a ratio, one to three. Okay, the first time what we did was we wrote it as a fraction, right? We wrote um, one out of four stickers is a heart, right? And then we changed it and now we're writing it as a ratio. Okay, um, let's go ahead and on that on that worksheet, let's. I'd like you guys to to do the following instructions. Just it, it says on that slide to deduce the ratio of the number of hearts to the number of stars for each of the remaining sheets. All right. So you're going to go to the green sheet, the blue sheet, and the yellow sheet, and your your ratio is hearts 
two stars, okay? Each time you do that, go ahead and simplify, all right? Just do that with your table partner really quickly. Take about a minute or two to do that. Okay, we're finding the ratio of hearts to stars for each of the rest of the sticker sheets in your textbook. No. Ainsley? Okay. All right. How about for the blue sheet? So our goal is to identify the ratio of hearts to stars. What is it on the blue sheet? Ashley. Great job. So did you start with three to, oops, see daisies. Did you start with three to 12 and then get to one to four? Okay. I can't seem to get my pen to work here. Oh, here we go. All right. Three to 12, and then you simplified and it was one to four. Good job. How about the green sheet? What did you get, Nora? Um, six to nine. Six to nine. So hearts to stars on that one? Is that what we have? Hearts, let's count them. We've got on the green sheet, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hearts. And we, oh, we did have nine. I'm sorry. I had like a mistake in my thing. So you're right, Nora, my bad. What did you simplify that to? Two to three, great job. Okay, yeah, you guys are right. I just wasn't seeing them and then I had a, I had a mistake in my key. All right, go ahead. We're not there yet. We're on still the second slide from the start. Um, so flip back a page. We're still on that. Okay, how about the yellow sheet? What do you guys have? Mateo? Great job. So you started with six to 18, and then you reduced to one to three, simplified. Kella? We're not there yet. We're not there for percentage yet. Now we're there. We're going to there, there next, okay? It says now convert, okay, we'll, we'll get there in just a second. All right, at the bottom of your sheet where it says notes, do you guys see that, you guys, on that first page? Okay, we're still on the first page. Yeah. There, don't you have a note section? No. Oh man, we gotta redo these notes. Okay, I'm sorry, we'll just take some notes. <laughs> okay, with the ratio, so first sheet, guys, with the ratio, we are looking for a comparison of the relative sizes of the two quantities. We're not looking for the number of hearts or the number of stars. A ratio is a comparison, not a number. Okay, right? Comparison, ratios are comparisons, not numbers. This is really important to remember. You can't add or subtract ratios because they're not numbers, they're comparisons. You can multiply and divide as you simplify, but you can't add or subtract them. Okay, everybody have that? Okay. All right, now, next one. Now we're gonna do the percentages where it says one fourth, one fifth, and two fifths. Do you guys find that? Okay, so now we're gonna confer, um, convert each fraction into a percentage to show the same kind of data. Carly, we asked for people to come in a while ago. We asked for people to come in a while ago, like 10 minutes ago. 
But I started the lesson. You need to be with doing the lesson with us. Okay, please grab yourself a set of notes. All right. Um, okay, let's convert each fraction into percentage to show, to show the same data. I bet you guys can do 25 or one out of four. One out of four. Okay. What is that as a percentage? Good. Okay, so 25% of the stickers on the page are hearts, right? On that pink sheet. All right. Um, okay, how about the next one? One fifth. What is that as a percentage? 20%. Okay, so we could say 20% of the stickers are hearts. How about two fifths? 40%. Nice job. Okay, moving right along. All right, next definition for you. The number of hearts and stars on one sheet are in proportion to the number of hearts and stars on another sheet if their ratios are equal. Okay, so the number, let's talk about that again. The number of hearts and stars on one sheet are in proportion to the number of hearts and stars on another sheet if their ratios are equal. So you have two colored sheets on in your textbook whose ratios are equal. So they are in proportion, even though they have different numbers on them. Which two sheets have equal ratios? Ainsley? No, it's not the pink and green ones. It's not the pink and green. Elin? No, it's not the pink and blue. What is it, Anthony? Pink and yellow. Pink and yellow, okay. Whoops, let me go back and let's just take a quick look at those again. Oh, there they are. How did we get one out of three on the yellow? Yeah. Oh, because we weren't doing hearts to total, that's why. So the question was um, the hearts to total. So on the pink sheet, it was one out of four. That's why. On the yellow sheet, we have six hearts, but we have 24 total stickers, okay? So that equals one out of four. Does that make sense, guys? Because we simplify. So those two sticker sheets are in proportion. The hearts are in proportion to each other. Okay. All right, Bella has three pencils. Andy has one pencil. Bella has three times as many pencils as Andy. The ratio of the number of Bella's pencils to the number of Andy's pencils is three to one. Okay, let me. I want you guys to write something um, over here on the side. When we read these ratios word problems, um, we want to make sure we know what we're comparing to what because a ratio reversed is not the same ratio. Let me show you what I mean. The ratio of Bella's pencils. So we put Bella on the left to. Andy's is three to one. And then we fill it in with whatever units they have. So since Bella has three times as many pencils as Andy, Andy has one, the ratio is three to one. On the next slide, it says, yes, Kella. It would be three to two. Yeah. Bella has three pencils, Andy has one pencil. They still have the same number of pencils. But now this one, this time I'm gonna say that Andy has one third the number of pencils that Bella has. What is the ratio of Andy's pencils to Bella's pencils? So Andy to Bella, what is it, Kenzie? One, one to three, exactly. This time we switched it around, one to three. Is that confusing for anybody? Okay, a little bit. So let's um, let's talk about it one more time. When we're comparing Bella to Andy, in our word problem, it says the ratio of the number of Bella's pencils, okay, to the number of Andy's pencils. So now I want Bella to come first in my ratio. Does that make sense, Elijah? Okay. And our word problem tells us that Bella has three times as many pencils as Andy and that she has three pencils and Andy has one pencil. So Bella is going to be on the left. Her units are on the left. So Bella has three units. Andy has one unit. Does that make sense so far? Oh, wow. Okay. Then when we go to the next problem and we're talking about Andy compared to Bella, we're flip-flopping it. So now we want to know the ratio of Andy's pencils 
to the number of Bella's pencils. Guys, I always want you to try to set up these letter ratios because it's gonna help you keep the numbers straight, okay? Um, so is one to three the same as three to one class? Yeah. No, it is not the same. It's a different thing. So you can't reverse these. It's not like gonna be half of a point or something like that. It's a completely different, it's a completely different answer. Okay. All right, green and red apples. You guys can't see this on your notes so well, but still just, you can look up here. All right, what is the ratio of the number of red apples to the number of green apples? Bastion, what is it? Four to one, great job. It is four to one. How many times, there are blank times as many red apples as green apples? Liam. Four. Yes, great job. The ratio of the number of green apples to the number of red apples is, Liam? One to four. One to four. This time it's backwards. Make sense, guys? Okay. Yeah. So there are blank as many green apples as red apples. Caleb. There are one fourth as many green apples as there are red apples. It's like super easy, right? Okay. Can we move on? You guys ready? All righty. We have here four boys and two girls. What is the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls? Give it to me unsimplified first, okay? Tyler. Four, yeah. four to two, great job. If I say that the ratio is four to two, I'm counting each individual, right? Okay. Um, there, there's still four boys and two girls. The number of boys is twice the number of girls. So we could also say that the ratio of the number of boys to girls is two, one, two to one. This time I'm considering units that are of two people. So instead of counting each individual person, I'm counting two at a time. Mateo. Um, so... Okay. If you if it comes back to you, let me know. All right. So you guys, ratios, remember, ratios are comparisons, not numbers. Ratios are what? Comparison. Yeah. Ratios are comparisons. So a ratio might not give you the actual quantities um, represented by objects or people or whatever. They're going to give you units. So when you read a ratio, you're reading it as units of, right? So back here with the boys and the girls, we had units of two kids. So the ratio was two to one. Does that confuse anybody? Okay, awesome, great. All right, um, let's keep going. So four to two equals two to one. We divided both terms in the ratio by two. Okay, now let's write a ratio to compare the number of girls to the number of boys. Okay, we're still working with units of two. What is our ratio of girls to boys? Ashley. Okay, we could say two to four, sure. We could start with that. Can we simplify that? What, what would you do with that, Ashley? How would you simplify that? I would, we would simplify it um, and say one to two, great job. So ratios, just like fractions, we always wanna give in the simplest form, you guys, when you're answering questions in your workbook and elsewhere. All right, next problem. There are nine chairs and three tables. The ratio of the number of chairs to the number of tables is what? <laughs> Isaac Rang? Uh, nine, three. nine, two, three. Nine, two, three. Nine, two, three. Great job. Um, we can, there are, so we know that there are three times as many chairs as there are tables. Um, we can represent this with units. So notice how my picture changed right there, you guys. Now I have units of three. How many units of chairs do I have? Annie? No, I don't have nine. I have three units. How many units of tables do I have? Right. So I could rewrite my, um, my ratio as three to one. This is on that next slide, okay? So nine to three equals three to one. So I went a little bit too far there. Okay, the last page on your notes um, is Alfred and some marbles. Okay. 
All right, this time we're gonna go ahead and draw some bar models first. Okay. How many red marbles does Alfred have? Three. He has three. Okay, let's draw a bar model to represent the units of red marbles. We're gonna do so much unitary math in this. It's gonna be awesome. All right, how many blue marbles does Alfred have? Two. two. So I'm gonna draw two units for his blue marbles. You guys are gonna love unitary by the end of this method. You will. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the ratio of the number of blue marbles to the number of red marbles is two to three. The next line that you guys have on your notes says, the number of blue marbles is blank, that of red marbles. That's your prompt to set that ratio up as a fraction, okay? So this is blue, this is red. Um, okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys another word fraction, okay, you ready? On the bottom of your slide, write is, as, are, over, of. Okay, see it? Is, as, are, over, of. Okay, so that first question where it says the number of blue marbles is, okay, blue, is your is, so blue on top. Engage, Elijah, thank you. Sit up and engage. Is over of is the red marbles. Do you guys see that in the in the word problem? Yes. Okay, oops, I don't have it up there. All right, so the number of blue marbles is blank of red marbles. I want this as a fraction. Yes, great job, two thirds. Two thirds out of red marbles. Okay, the next one says, Oh, I don't want you to see that yet. The ratio of the number of red marbles to the number of blue marbles is what? So not a fraction quite yet. The ratio of the number of red marbles to the number of blue marbles is, Kendall, three to two, great job. Okay, that next prompt means, the way that's worded means it requires a fraction answer. The number of red marbles is blank times that of blue marbles. What is what is on the top part of the fraction this time? Ray? Red. Red is on top. Blue is the of, so it's on the bottom. So what is our answer? What's our fraction? Three halves, yeah. Three over two, which would equal what? Great job. Three over two, which equals one and one half. All right, who's feeling confident with this? Good, awesome. All right. Your exit ticket has you just finding two equivalent ratios for each ratio shown. Hi, guys. Oh, but um, you you can't give it to him unless you guys do some math for us. What? Can you guys can you guys do what's what's eight times seven? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Jennings, we'll take it. You guys can go. Okay, bye, guys. All right. They're all like, it's because it's because they, when you're that size and you're staring down a room full of sixth graders plus a teacher who just asked you to do math, like, you know, I mean, it, it was a win that they were able to like, you know, contain themselves and smile. And so that was good. All right. Okay. Well, I had to make it hard. Eight times, eight times seven is harder than two times two, right? <laughs> okay. We're getting back on track. Here we go. Find two equivalent ratios. So what that means is that you can multiply or divide both terms by anything to find two equivalent ratios. Okay, so for four to two, what's the most obvious equivalent ratio right there, you guys? Two to one. But what's, no, one to two is not an equivalent ratio. Okay, what's another equivalent ratio, Tyler? Eight to four. Eight to four, great job. All right, do that for the other two problems on there, please. All right, an equivalent ratio for three to five. What's one? Charlie. Great, 
We've multiplied both terms by three. What else? Tyler? 15 to 45. 15 to 45. Great job. You multiplied them both. Wow, well, wait a second here. 15 to 25. If we multiplied both by five, it would be 15 and 25. Oh, okay. Um, okay, one to two. Finn? Uh, two to four. Two to four, great. What's another one? Bastion? Okay, 50 to 100, that works. 6,000 to 12,000. Okay, Zoe? What's that? 